Welcome to Jibilical Horizon. This is part one in what will going to be a three-part series focusing on leadership. Today, in the first part, I'm going to focus on the board level. Now, the main recommendation I'm going to provide in this video is that I think that boards, particularly for global companies, large corporations, and internationally focused companies, should have a board member focusing on geopolitical issues, geopolitical strategy, and geopolitical strategic thinking. I think a lot of companies that operate internationally, even if they're not global, they could be focusing particularly on a certain region, but you know, may, they may also expand their vision in the future in terms of other international expansions. And then I think it's going to be quite wise for companies to have in the board you know, a person focusing really on geopolitical thinking, strategic thinking on the geopolitical level. There are a range of risks that companies, corporations, and global entities need to focus on these days, whether it's political risk, security risk, you know, travel risk, public health issues. Now we're in the middle of a pandemic, also related to climate change. You know, the geopolitical realm really trends into a variety of areas. Therefore, I think it is wise, now if you're a chairwoman or you're a chairman, you know, and you're thinking about how to form your board in the future, perhaps in the next cycle, I think it would know, be very wise to have a person, a board member, focusing on geopolitical issues. Thereby, when you're planning your, your next foreign investment decision, FID, then you can really plan very systematically and methodically, also with you know, geopolitical considerations in mind, on the board level. And that could you know, give you an extra strategic edge also in competition with other you know, companies within your branch or within your sector. So really, you know, considering having a board member in the board with a geopolitical understanding, I think that is very important. And when you do look for that board member with geopolitical understanding, I would recommend you look for a person who is humble, who is able to listen, who can take in different nuances and perspectives, because I think that's going to be very important for companies in the future. We are going through a very transformative time now where you know changes are really evolving cons const constantly. And therefore, by being able to you know, adapt to different circumstances, prepare really and be you know, able to have an early warning systems in place, I think that's going to be particularly important for global companies and corporations and also internationally focused companies. In addition, from an investor perspective, you know, really I think in the future, investors will also be focused on you know, looking at what type of people are in the board and therefore by having you know, geopolitical knowledge and geopolitical competence within the board, I think that's going to be very important, particularly now when we see sovereign wealth funds and large you know, international financial firms focusing on climate change increasingly. And that is, of course, something which is very important also for global companies, internationally focused companies to really think about and therefore to have a geopolitical understanding of what are the you know, situation on the ground in the countries you operate and also in the countries you plan maybe to operate or think you may want to look at into the future. So really, you know, on the board level, you know, think about having a, a board member that really focuses on geopolitical strategy, geopolitical thinking, and that can really be the, the voice on the geopolitical strategic level in terms of that issue and that focus. So that's my recommendation on the board level. Well, thank you so much for joining, and I look forward to see you next week for part two of this series focusing on leadership. Thank you.